System settings are located at the bottom of the setup screen. So click on the setup shortcut key on your unit and here at the bottom you'll see system settings. Just click on that. You have several subcategories in there. You have device settings, timing settings, sound settings. This is on the settings one page. And then on settings two page you also have clock and languages and others. Within settings one you have uh, and device settings, you have length unit, which is either feet or meters, depending upon how you want your reports to be shown. You also have plot y-axis. This is, this is how you want your graphs to be shown. Uh, that would be with the limit on top of the pair data or below the pair, pair data. And then device type is, do you want the unit that you're working with to be a local or remote unit? You'll need one local and one remote to perform testing with the wire expert. Timing settings is how often you want the unit to power down or to go to sleep um, uh, when testing. The more conservative these settings are, the longer your battery will last. Uh, sound settings, uh, how you want the sound effects to be, um, how loud you want them to be. You can actually go into that group and kind of see the choices here. We have an audio setting for touch click, speaker and tone, and a voice prompt. And again, there's a setting that's specific to the local and one that's in the remote unit as well. So you'll need to go and set those. Settings two, we've got date and time, uh, language, English. There's multiple languages on the Wire Expert. And then others, uh, uh, memory storage, uh, battery, um, you can do a restore to factory settings, you can do a touch screen calibration, and device info tells you what type of software you have loaded on the unit. We set these from the factory, so you'll be set up with uh, the date format that you see in the top left, as well as, uh, of course, the calibration that we do here at the factory. So that's the system settings for WireExpert 4500.